Hey leaders, this week we are in the houses and at junior high. We are continuing our series on relationship status. If you haven't signed up uh, to get the curriculum on the app yet, I strongly suggest you do that. You can get the info on the side or end of this email. It's the easiest way you can have the Devo and small group material and prepare for your group tomorrow. So, as I said, last week I read a great post on leadership from a guy named Kerry Newhoff. The title of the post is 21 Things All Great Leaders Do. You can read the whole post here in this email. We're taking the 21 and breaking them down into seven weeks at three apiece. At the slower pace, it'll allow us to process better. And, and I'd love to hear some feedback from you on this. So if you want to hit me back an email or text me at my phone number and let me know your thoughts, that'd be awesome. I'd love to hear from you. So today we're going to look at how great leaders, number one, make mission more important than themselves, number 11, invest in themselves, and 12, practice self-care. So here we go, great leaders make the mission more important than themselves. Our youth ministry at Beulah Youth is not about me, and it and hopefully doesn't revolve around my personality, even though I know I'm pretty amazing. But seriously, it's about seeing students connected to Jesus, growing in community, and serving. Similarly, we aren't trying to draw students to ourselves, we're leading them towards Jesus. We practically do this at times when we're giving up of self. At times, they may not even like us because our message or encouragements are difficult, but we still make it about Jesus, not about us. We are leaders first, friends second. Great leaders invest in themselves. But you just said it's not about you. I know, but I mean, what I mean is we invest in our leadership abilities and training to better lead students. We frequently have leader meetings, uh, retreats, and conferences uh, that can help you grow your leadership. If you're looking to do more of that, we can help. Let me know and uh, we'll help you out. If you're a reader, there's lots of opportunities for growth as well. If you need something to, to read on leadership or youth ministry, send me a text and I'll help you out. I would love to, to do that for you. Similarly, great leaders practice self-care. Self-care for all, all of, of who you're made up. Physical self-care, uh, proper exercise and eating habits. And in this last year, I've been more aware of this in my own life and I put steps in place so that I can physically be healthier for now and for my future. Emotionally and spiritually, that the healthcare for that are also important. Do you have friends that you connect with on a deeper level and process with? Are you connecting with your coach? Are you connecting regularly with Jesus? These are all very important questions to be asking and answering yourself. So there are three things great leaders do from the list of 21. Like last week, uh, which one of those three are you going to work on? Pick one and work on that. If you read this email or, or watched this uh, video, send me back an email or a text to tell me which one of the three you're going to work on this week. Send me a message with either mission priority or invest in myself or practice self-care. Thanks for watching and reading. We'll see you next week.